Queens. They're, you're talking about colonialism. Whoa. You're talking Whoa. about the fact that the United States government picked the war uh, with Spain in 1898, yes, sure. where Spain had been the colonizer, where Spain had controlled the Philippines. It picked the war, the United States with Spain, in order to steal the Philippines. You know that the name Philippines, you know where that comes from, right? Yes. King That's Philip. from King, King Philip, Philip. Yes. Prince Philip of Spain. It's not their name in that way anymore than being a Negro uh, is our name, or being a Jamaican and this kind of thing that they've done to us. They create this false national consciousness. So they stole this territory, stole the people, and then they made war against the people forever, and they're still making war against the people. It is they who have imposed Ferdinand Marcos uh, and his family now, yes, yes. his heirs, yes. uh, as the leadership uh, of the Philippines. So I wanted to say something about that. And of course, we have to recognize what is happening with our Haiti. Most people do not have a good understanding of this question of Haiti and the role that it has played in fighting against the colonial system. In fact, the biggest crisis, the first major crisis that the whole colonial capitalist system faced was African making revolutions in Haiti. African black people in Haiti fought the major colonial powers of the world and beat them, beat, beat Spain, them, beat, beat France, them. beat England back, and then made a revolution and declared that any slave on the planet Earth, if you get to Haiti, you're free. free. This is what happened with Haiti. The first liberated Republican of black people uh, in the Americas. And it has paid a price ever since then. They have done things to create an economic quarantine. You look at what's happened with Cuba, where Haiti was where they began this process of starving the people and make them yes, bow down. Yes, yes. Africans fought and won liberation in Haiti. And then all of the white powers of the world got together to force Haiti, Africans in Haiti to pay reparations to France, who had enslaved us. We had to pay France uh, for, for uh, taking uh, France's property, which was we, the African people ourselves. Yes. This is what we've been up against. And we cannot easily deal with that until we understand that we're looking at colonialism and the whole colonial capitalist system got its origin in the attack on Africa and the forced dispersal of African people all around the globe. But they made a mistake in the sense that what they did was when they attacked Africa and forced us throughout the globe they forced the African Revolution to various places around the earth. So they are fighting the African Revolution right now. That's what they're looking at. That's one of the things they're most concerned about in terms of the Uhuru movement. We say one Africa, one, one nation. nation.